At this time, I will now invite Sean Newton. He is the director of MCC's EMS paramedic program, and he'll provide us with an overview of their learning objectives that they strive to meet uh, for ITPME. Here is Sean. Thank you, Cameron. And thank you for wearing the pink shirt again. I love that. Uh, wow, I'm humbled. I'm, I'm humbled to uh, stand up here today uh, and see all of the dignitaries and colleagues that assembled this Friday afternoon to share in our ITPME experience. I would like to first say a very heartfelt thanks to everybody in theater, film arts, and our institutional advancement offices here at MCC that made this event possible. They worked day and night tirelessly, and I can't thank them enough for putting this together. So thank you so very much. <clears throat> so I, I was actually tasked with coming up today and, and speaking about the learning objectors, objectives for the different programs, and that's, that's boring stuff, that's boring stuff. So what I wanted to talk about was really how an idea that started at new faculty orientation here at Mesa Community College some four years ago. Um, thankfully, this is my last year of probation. <laughs> uh, but um, two colleagues that sat through what most people would say can be boring at times, but left there and left that experience having formed a, a bond and a, and a kinship to having a student-centric fo focus and really looking at how two completely different disciplines could come together and work together to enhance the learning experience for our students. And uh, that's something that's truly exceptional. And then to have my colleagues in the other departments when I pitch this crazy story, like Justine and Ed, Steve Lieber, and our, our friends and colleagues at Grand Canyon and our friends and colleagues at, at Midwestern University, they didn't look at me like I was crazy. <laughs> they, they actually said, hey, we wanna come play too. And we wanna experience this too. And everybody put their egos in the back seat. Cause you know, a lot of times when we deal with our, 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 our desires and our, the intensity of our own programs and our own professions, we tend to operate in silos and we tend to think, you know, it's, it's about me, it's about, it's about my program and how successful it is, and that is not the case with this. And that's what I love most about it, is, is the collegiality, the interdisciplinary communication, the teamwork, and the fact that the egos took a back seat. The egos took a back seat and the desire and the intensity to have a student-centric focus in everything we did with regard to this experience is what has made it successful. I was recently lucky enough to travel to Washington, D.C. with Dr. Finch, I just got back last week, and present our immersive total patient management experience during the National Educator Symposium in, in Washington, D.C. And we were, we were lucky enough to be their uh, general session speakers at that event. And we spoke in front of hundreds of colleagues from across the United States and Canada, and we shared this event and this experience with them. And I was again humbled by the outpouring of support from people that came up to me afterward in the mixer and said, you know, we've been trying to do something like this for years, but we can't get it off the ground. And we can't, we can't seem to get our people to work together. We can't seem to get, you know, people to commit. And my response to them was very, very simple and it was consistent. My response to them was, it takes a good team. You know, I'm, I'm often questioned with how we pull this off every year. Uh, the videos do it a little bit of justice, but you can see the logistics and the coordination and, and everything that goes on. And it truly takes a team. It takes a team of dedicated individuals from multiple disciplines and multiple areas that really come together and, and work towards a common goal. And, and that's what makes it successful. And, I, and I'm very honored and humbled uh, to be able to be a part of that. And I, I have learned so much from my colleagues that I work with, especially theater and film arts. You know, 
I myself, I'm a, I'm a movie guy. Uh, most firefighters are, I think. Um, you know, a lot of, a lot of your tax dollars go to, goes to buying very expensive recliners <laughs> because we do need our downtime. <laughs> And we, we need to rehab ourselves. And sometimes the way, in, in, in all seriousness, the, sometimes the way that we rehab ourselves mentally is we immerse ourselves in the film, in the arts. Because film and arts and theater, that's our escape, right? That's our escape from reality. And, and I enjoy experiencing those escapes from reality and immersing myself in the, the film and the arts. But in this unique situation, the arts and the film and the theater students bring us reality. They make this a reality. And this event would not be what it is today without all of the wonderful individuals that I've encountered in theater and film arts and, and their dedication. You know, I love nothing more than to walk down the halls of the college now, and it's not my students that I get to give hugs to. It's all the theater and film arts students I get to give hugs to, and I get to see them and, and, and recognize their faces. And year after year after year, many students like Dolores participate in this event, and I get to see them come back and, and, and just do a, a, a better job. So when I talk about learning objectives and I talk about what is it we're trying to accomplish, it's, it's really that. It's really, we're trying to accomplish a sense of community. We're trying to accomplish a sense of teamwork. We're trying to instill in our students basic fundamental beliefs that they are, they are part of something bigger than themselves. They're part of a team, whether that be a healthcare team or a community team, but we want them to leave with the experience and the knowledge and the genuine feeling and desire to understand that they are part of something bigger than themselves. And that, that, is, that is something truly special. So the learning objectives are really tangible, but it's those things that I, that I want to express. And uh, I just wanna thank everybody that is a part of this event for making it what it is today. My hope is now that we have been, a, been asked to be on the national stage, that we can encourage our sister colleges across Maricopa to work with us in, in making this a standardized part of our curriculum. You know, we have some wonderful tools here at MCC. We have a virtual incident command training center, which is one of, one of its kind. It's one of a kind uh, training center here at the downtown, or at the downtown center campus where, where people are immersed in simulation, where they have real lights, real sirens. And, and that one thing makes it so real, you know? They're tasked with training the future leaders of our fire departments and our police agencies and our ambulance companies within that, that center. And we are so lucky to have something like that here at MCC where, where we can have our students experience that realism. And, and it's little things like that, that you know, as a district that we need to share with each other and collaborate. We're not each other's competition, we're a team. And, and I am so honored and humbled to be a part of that team. So, Everybody, thank you for coming out today. Thank you for, for being immersed in our total patient management experience. And to my colleagues, Justine and Ed and Steve and Addie and everybody else that's a part of it, I thank you from the bottom of my heart for making this a success. So thank you. <laughs>